sat to the back, the smarter we got. We were poor, we were ugly, we were all best friends. Wide eyed, baptized, and still wanting to sin. Thank God we get more than just one shot. Where I grew up. Get crazy, get wild. Let's party, get loud. If you want to have fun, to do something. All right, we got to do something. Welcome to this week's Lumberjack Live. I'm Julia. And I'm Cody. Let's send to the announcements. Thanks, guys! Jasmine, they're over there. Yeah. I'm Kaka. And I'm Jasmine. Please stand for the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. The Bemidji Driving School will be holding classes April 2nd through the 17th in room 2113. The cost is $95. If you bring a non-perishable food item or paper product for the food shelf, you'll receive $5 off the class price. Headwaters Driving School will be holding a class from April 2nd through the 24th with no Wednesday classes. The cost is $95. To register, call 218-237-3399. Girls Golf begins Monday, March 19th. Please sign up and check for paperwork in the athletic office. Bring a 7-iron and tennis shoes on Monday to the wrestling room after school. Anyone interested in participating in the Economics Challenge on March 28th in Duluth is asked to talk with Mr. Deaton in room 2105. It is free. You get a free t-shirt and there are chances at cash prizes. The BHS Drama Club will be holding auditions for the William Shakespeare's The Two Gentlemen of Verona. Auditions will be held Wednesday and Thursday, March 14th and 15th in, at 335 in the English Breakout Room. Those interested in being a part of the tech crew are also invited to attend. Any boys interested in golf this spring are asked to stop by Mr. Knutson's AOS room 1115 after school on March 15th for a brief informational meeting. Their meeting will start at 3.15 and will last no longer than 20 minutes. <laughs> the girls softball players interested in pitching are reminded that there will be a pitching clinic here in, in Bemidji. For more information, please get a form from Mr. Tackinen. <laughs> Those are your headlines for the <laughs> Jess. Let's send it back to our host. Miigwech. What are you talking in? Ojibwe. Oh, yeah. Isn't there been signs around the school up for the last couple weeks? Yeah, they've been up for about two weeks. Cool. Um, doesn't Mr. Lyons know all about it? Yeah, let's check it out. Bonjour, my name is Makade Mukunsikwe, and my English name is Sadie Kingbird. I'm here today with Michael Lyons. Michael is the career and academic advisor for the Indian education at Bemidji High School. How are you, Mr. Lyons? Neiman Wendum, Nindash. Neiman Wendum, Miigwech. Recently, Bemidji High School put up a number of Ojibwe language signs around the school. What do you think was the reason for this? I think the reason behind it was probably to raise awareness of Ojibwe language and culture in the school. Um, as part of a larger project, the group of people started to um, hang signs around town and then we got a grant to put up uh, signs in here. Do you think this will encourage people to learn Ojibwe? I think it might encourage some people to learn Ojibwe, but uh, more importantly, I think it just raises awareness that there is um, Ojibwe language um, being used in the area. And, um, and also it's a good sign that uh, the school supports the teaching and learning of Ojibwe language. It wasn't that long ago when boarding schools made it, uh, it was forbidden to speak Ojibwe. And so this is a good sign that we um, have come a long ways. Why do you think it is important for Indian students to know their language? Um, I think it's important because it's a, an endangered language um, and we'd hate to lose it. At the same time, I think it's almost more important that we um, connect as Anishinaabe people. And uh, this reminds us of who we are and our place in history and um, society. 
Do you think it'd be a good idea for non-Indian students to learn this language? Very much so. Some people assume that Ojibwe language class is just for Anishinaabe students, and um, it really isn't. This is a learning Ojibwe language. You can't learn the language without learning something about the culture and the people and the history, and it really bridges um, the gap between natives and non-natives in this town. Thank you very much, Michael. I'm Sadie Kingbird. Miigwech, Bizindawi, and Gigawabamin. Did you know the average person drinks three cups of coffee a day? Wow, I bet Mr. Westrom drinks about four times that. You know a great place to get coffee? I heard the Cabin Coffee House has really great coffee. Yeah, let's check it out. Whether it's to beat the summer heat or stay out of these wintry blizzards, the Cabin Coffee House is the place to be. The Cabin is a modern coffee house with a classic Northwoods twist, and it's right here downtown Bemidji on 3rd Street. Let's take a look inside. It's the heart on your sleeve, never making me wonder It's the bone that we tie up and over and under You're the sun and the rain and my grass is always green uh, My name is Barbie Huey. I've been working at the cabin for about a year now. Um, I love working here. I mean, the environment's awesome. My boss is like the greatest. And just when I thought it couldn't get any better day. My opinion on the cabin is it's like the best coffee shop in town. Um, it has a really homey vibe, like you're just hanging out at a cabin. Um, I mean, the people here are wonderful, and we have a lot of like great things that we offer for everyone. Like we have a vegan menu, vegetarian. We offer a little bit of everything. The cabin is not only known for its coffee grounds, but as a meeting grounds for various organizations. I'm Bill Byer. I'm the president of the board for the uh, Bemidji Community Food Shelf, and this is a great place for us to meet. I like the cookies. I have like a guilty pleasure for our it's chocolate chip cookies. Like, like, the end of the oh phone God, line. The <laughs> the toes, if you're getting hungry, you have no fear. The cabin has a wide assortment of coupons in our locally renowned Bemidji High School Music Department coupon books. And while you're munching on that cookie, you can check out the various works of art by our own local artists hung up on the cabin's walls. We have a new one every month, and then we have like an artist reception the first Friday of every month where you can meet the artist and have a cup of coffee and like desserts and stuff and just get to know them. And do it all again. Hope this feeling never ends. Besides all the great activities the cabin has to offer, it's also a great place to hang out with your friends. So come on down to the cabin and bring a few of your friends, where homemade is in the air. Really? Doesn't yeah. drafting have one? Yeah, they do. Hmm. Hey, have you ever visited Mr. Gooch? Maybe you should because he has over 15 years of experience teaching CAD and drafting classes. Feel like I'm at prom or Christmas. Or <laughs> Just don't stab me. Yes, the classes at Bemidji High School, we have drafting one, drafting two, and drafting three. And in drafting one is kind of an exploration of all those classes. Drafting two is drawing floor plans to your home, and that's your dream home. And drafting three, you build a model of the home. Engineering architecture, digital electronics, and engineering design. And those are all project lead way classes which are all college credited. Students really enjoy the recently purchased 3D printer that helps turn their CAD drawings into reality. What we've seen here is some parts uh, that are made on my 3D printer, which you just shown. Electric Avenue. And then we'll take it higher. Well, that's all we got for today. Thanks for joining us. Have a great day. Wants to follow me to bed. I'm a ghost of
of a girl that I want to be most I'm the shell of a girl that I used